with how all of the data looks at this point, an AMC short squeeze seems to be just around the corner. But before that time comes, what can you do to prepare for it? Come on in, let's talk about it. What's up everyone? This is The Real Mark Cruz and I'm here to keep it real with you on the things that matter the most, like your money, your mind, and of course your time. But before we get started, I have to let you guys know I am not a financial advisor, okay? I'm just a dude on the internet. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Whether you watch Trace Trades, Matt Kors, or any other YouTuber for your AMC information, you've probably seen that all of the data that is being covered at this point seems to indicate that a squeeze is pretty much inevitable. Of course, there are no guarantees, but all of this data essentially shows that we are approaching the point of no return. You guys should definitely check out some of the DD by these guys as it is way more in depth. However, before you get ready to strap into your rocket and redeem your moon tickets, I have some tips that might help you to prepare for takeoff. Listen, before things start to take off, you have to take a moment to really reflect on what is going on right now. Nothing in life is guaranteed, of course, but if this actually plays out like so many of us believe that it will, wrap your mind around the fact that life may in fact never be the same financially for you. This may be truly a once in a lifetime event for many of us. You may find yourself in a position where you may have life-changing cash, or you may be able to pay off old debts or dig yourself out of financial scenarios that you may find yourself in right now. You want to be crystal clear as to how you plan to utilize your attendees regardless of what your goals are or how you hope to manage or invest or spend those attendees, be very thorough and detailed in your planning. See, money is a funny thing. Most people believe that managing money, it gets easier if you have more, but if you don't have the fundamentals of a plan drawn out, having more money makes it easier to spend and do silly things with. As the old saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. <laughs> Contrary to what some believe, the mother of all short squeezes has to eventually end at some point. Nothing lasts forever, unfortunately. One day, once the squeeze has reached its peak and the metaphorical rocket has landed on the moon, you have to understand and have an idea as to how you plan to get out of that play. For some, they have set their floor to $1,000 per share, others $1 million or more per share. Whatever your number is in your head, be prepared to take some profits off of the table when that time comes. All too often when a play is in motion, traders tend to either wait too long or leave the play too early, which can allow them to leave tons of profits on the table. The simple solution here is once you've decided what your number is, take some gains off of the table slowly, or at the very least, take out what you initially invested into that stock when you feel comfortable. Then have a separate number in mind as to how you plan to exit with the rest of your shares. This way you can cover both angles and not be left holding the bag with no gains. One of the major steps I'd encourage everyone to do once they come into some major attendees is to find a financial advisor and a tax professional. You're going to need expert guidance and advice on how to manage your new profits and how to make sure Uncle Sam isn't going to come knocking on your door. Finding a financial advisor is paramount, especially for people who have come into new wealth. A trusted financial advisor may recommend ways in which you could maybe start an LLC, reinvest your profits into other assets, start an IRA, a 401k, or many other things. Everyone's scenario is unique, so it's best to find someone who best matches your long-term goals. Hiring a tax professional, on the other hand, will help you to avoid so many potential issues. A knowledgeable tax professional will help you find the best legal methods on how you can maximize your profits and to minimize your old taxes. You want to make sure you are in compliance with any applicable fees and capital gains taxes you might incur because of this. I'd suggest finding people you can trust and people that you can see yourself working with in the long run. With your newfound wealth, you may need to have people like this around to help you manage any new investments and wealth that you accrue because of this. Now, this might sound like a strange one, but in scenarios where you come into new money, you have to really take a look at your inner circle. Believe it or not, if reevaluating those closest to you is not something that you've done recently, maybe you should look into this regardless. In a situation where you now have more money than you've probably had in your entire life, you'd be surprised how many people closest to you would be the first ones to attempt to harm you, 
to discredit you, or to take advantage of your new earnings. You may mysteriously find out about your mother's, brother's, uncle's, daughter's, great-grandkid that you never knew was related to you. They may come out of the woodwork looking for handouts or a piece of what you have now. Be very careful not to allow yourself to be emotionally persuaded, to spend, or to give your money to people who are just trying to take advantage of you. It may be difficult not to tell everyone about what you just earned, but I'd limit who you tell any of this to. You never truly know who doesn't have your best interest in mind. The last thing that I suggest is actually a pretty simple one, and it might pull a little bit on your heartstrings. Um, and that's to stay in touch with this community that we have all built together. I know a lot of amazing friendships and maybe even some long-term relationships that were created through this whole experience that we've all had the pleasure of partaking in. Nurture these relationships and stay in touch with your fellow apes. Some may end up being some of your best friends and maybe even a future business partner. This journey in itself is an experience that will live with us all for the rest of our lives and one that I'm sure most of us will look back fondly on. Don't be a stranger. Well, that's what I have for you guys today. How will you plan for the AMC Short Squeeze? Do you have any tips that you'd like to share? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, share this with someone who might benefit from this information. If you'd like to get in on the trading train with us, please use my Weeble link in the description below to get two free stocks after you deposit your first 100 bucks. Now, with all that being said, keep your heads bright, your wallets tight, and grab your dreams like it's your right, my friends. Peace.